Hello, I'm Lisa Grilly, physiotherapist at the Montreal Children's Hospital of the McGill University Health Center. I'm presenting in series number two, asking the question, what are we doing in clinic to assess and treat kids with concussion? The title of my talk is the Montreal Children's Hospital Interprofessional Concussion Clinic Management of Kids and Teens. I will focus on how we strive to meet the individualized needs of each patient and their family to favor the recovery process following a concussion. So who am I? I am a trauma coordinator in our injury prevention program and its affiliated research program. I am also the head physiotherapist in the Mild Traumatic Brain Injury Concussion Clinic. So, who is referred to our clinic and by whom? In our clinic, we see children from the ages of 5 to 17 years of age who have a confirmed diagnosis of mild traumatic brain injury or concussion. So first and foremost, every child or adolescent who has had a mild traumatic brain injury must be assessed by a doctor in order to confirm the diagnosis and secondly, to rule out any neurosurgical complications. Now, where do the referrals come from? First, they come from our, our uh, emergency department. The emergentologist will refer children who have had repeated concussions. He'll refer children that are high-level competitive athletes, and he'll also uh, refer families that are very anxious. Um, we also know that if children do not show any improvement over two weeks of being seen in the emergency department, the families can contact our clinic directly. Um, our referrals also come from community physicians, namely pediatricians and general practitioners. The physicians tend to refer when the management is beyond their expertise, and especially for those children who are slow to recover. Referrals can also come directly from other hospitals, such as regional hospitals who do not have a concussion clinic in their setting. Um, here in Montreal, there are many schools um, that have highly concentrated sports program who follow our protocol. The nurses who suspect a concussion will advise the parents to see their physician and once the diagnosis is confirmed, to request a referral to our clinic. We know that parents browse the internet for concussion management and sometimes they come across our clinic, so therefore they see their physician and uh, request a referral to our clinic. And finally, word of mouth, mostly from one parent to the other or in older kids, student to student. So when are the children seen in our clinic? Families are first contacted by phone by our program's administrative clinic coordinator. The coordinator will book the clinic appointment, she will review activity restrictions with the child and family, and she'll also identify urgent issues that may warrant a visit to the emergency department. We have no wait time for kids to be seen in our clinic. Patients are seen in our clinic within two to three days of referral. So what do we do in our clinic? We provide an holistic approach. In order to attain this, we need to be multidisciplined. We need to ensure that it is patient and family centered. We, our team consists of many professionals, as you see here. So the core is trauma coordinator, physiotherapist, psychologist, neuropsychologist, sometimes ophthalmologist, emergentologist, researcher, under the direction of Dr. Isabel Gagnon, and others such as social worker, neurosurgeon, etc. And these referrals are based on the patient's needs. What is the role of the concussion clinic coordinator? The coordinator will meet the family and the patient for an initial face-to-face -face interview. She is the one who will screen the patient. Um, she will begin by evaluating post-concussion symptoms with the patient. Now, based on the child's symptoms, the coordinator will make an action plan with the child and his parents for activity restrictions at home, such as no TV, uh, no video games, no texting, etc. A greater return to school to address the caseload, adequate uh, breaks, note taking, no recess for the younger kids, etc. And also, no participation as well as not being present as an observer in either the phys ed class or sports. The coordinator will refer to the other clinic team professionals as indicated. 
The coordinator will ensure a follow-up for those children who have constant headaches and to ensure successful school reintegration. The coordinator will send a note to the referring physician with the plan, and if needed, will communicate by phone for the more complex cases. Ongoing education and reassurance is provided to the families at every follow-up visit. What is the role of the concussion clinic physiotherapist? For the initial acute phase, the physiotherapist will review the management with the patient and make sure that the patient themselves his or her family, and the school are all following the recommendations given by the clinic coordinator. As we heard in series number one, as many as 30 and possibly 40% of children and adolescents will take more than a month to recover. The Montreal Children's Hospital Concussion Clinic will initiate an active rehab program for those children who have persistent symptoms at one month post-injury. For more details of our program, please refer to Dr. Gagnon's slides. The physiotherapist assesses and identifies any ocular motor and vestibular related deficits resulting from the concussion and provide the patient with an exercise program. The physiotherapist will also assess and identify any neck impairments. These may be concussion related or can possibly caused by a secondary injury such as a whiplash at the time of the concussion. In either cases, the physiotherapist will develop an exercise program. Once the patient is symptom-free for one week at rest, the child is ready to complete a physical exertion test. If successful with the exertion testing, return to play guidelines will be reviewed. Written instructions will be provided, especially in the case where modifications are needed regarding physical activities or sports. What is the role of the concussion clinic psychologist? Many of the children are referred to our psychologists for further evaluation and intervention. The psychologist will evaluate deficits related to the concussion. They'll also evaluate anxiety and stressors. This is especially important in children who are high achievers and have high expectations for themselves. The psychologist will address parental concerns and anxiety, and they will also provide individualized school intervention as the action plan from the clinic coordinator may not be sufficient. And the role of the emergentologist. The algorithm that you see on this slide was developed by the divisions of our pediatric emergency medicine, pediatric neurology, and trauma programs. And this algorithm is to assist the emergentologist on how to manage post concussive headaches in the acute phase, subacute phase, and the chronic phase of recovery. The first part reviews red flags proper diagnosis of MTBI, and uh, the teaching to patients and families. So to conclude, our concussion clinic is a family-centered and has an individualized patient approach. It is important to normalize the expected recovery as early as possible. It is also important to provide concrete guidelines and recommendations in all aspects of the patient's life to favor a complete recovery.